So by the very title of this video, a lot of you are probably thinking, oh goody, let me go get a box of popcorn. Let me go get a soda. Or for the 10 people out there in the world who call it pop, it's blatantly obvious that this video is going to be about net neutrality. While net neutrality can suck my balls, that's not the topic at hand. And I am so very sorry for the PewDiePies, or the Keemstars, or the Philip DeFrancos out there who are going to go from being millionaires to slightly less millionaires. But in all honesty, net neutrality is actually a very serious issue and I wish all of us the best of luck. Rest in peace. Papa Fritz going to take center stage here and be a little selfish for a minute. Then again, when am I not selfish? Or a whore? But nonetheless, I'd wish to discuss more personal matters involving my content creation and you guys the viewers and an AIDS carrier known as YouTube. So as all of you know, well actually, maybe just a handful, the ones that actually care about my cock, as those few of you may know, about five days ago I uploaded this masterpiece. And I normally don't like to discuss all the hard work that goes behind making these videos, or how time consuming they are, or how stressful they can be at times. I prefer to just release content and let people enjoy it without having to worry about the burden that goes behind them, without having to worry about any sort of compensation. But after certain events transpired, I feel it's necessary to start bringing up these issues. For the last two weeks, I had slaved myself over the computer, going over the abomination of this console peasant, jogging down notes of where I want to respond, writing out those responses, dedicating a day to recording the audio and editing it, manipulating it, raising the bass, the treble, filtering out the P's and the poos and the pas, then dragging that audio file into Sony Vegas alongside the retards video, individually snipping each clip I wanted to respond to, going over each frame of animation, and without going into too much detail, essentially a process that took up to two weeks. And the hours spent of each day on this video were of my own free time. Coming home from work, I'd go straight to my computer and continue the process of editing, which is easily the longest process. Unless your review tech you was saying, in which case the longest process is just making the thumbnail. And after days of sitting at the computer, getting every frame down to the point that I was satisfied, I rendered the video, I uploaded it, and I was quite satisfied with my work. It's honestly one of my favorite console peasant videos I've ever done, and it shows through its quality. At least, I think so anyway. A part of me felt like I deserved some sort of compensation, not through the viewers, but through the monetization. I knew this video would easily reach over 10,000 views in a matter of two days. Many laugh, but for a YouTuber of my stature, I consider that to be a successful video. In the past, I've seen the money I could generate with just 10,000 views in two days. I knew I was going to be compensated decently for my work, but alas. As soon as the video was finished rendering, I go to check the information, make sure everything is nice and correct, make sure there's no misspellings, make sure to tag PCMR enough times, and then that yellow dot caught my attention. Not even published, and the video was already demonetized. Meaning I had to submit a review request, which I did, but not even a few minutes ago, being the impatient dumbass that I was, I let my Twitter followers know and they sat there impatiently, waiting for me to publish this video. And the day was beginning to shift into a Sunday. If I were to upload it any later, I could miss out on a huge chunk of views. So I put myself in a position where I had no choice but to publish the video, which received no actual monetization until the following day, when it had already reached over 10,000 views, which meant I literally earned nothing. <sighs> Look, YouTube isn't my job. If I was doing YouTube for the money, I would have quit a long time ago. And I don't expect to make big earnings from YouTube. YouTube is a pastime for me, a hobby, where I'm able to make a little extra dough. But when I begin to see the amount of effort, time, and care that I put into these videos, I begin to desire some form of compensation. Daddy loves you guys, honestly I do, but I can't live off of horny comments and likes for so long. And the question's been brought up so many times, why not do YouTube full time? Well there's basically your answer, and no I'm not lashing out at anyone. If there's anyone that I am lashing out at, it's me. 
because I could very well shift into a full-time position with YouTube. But in order to do that, I'd have to go through the process of degrading my content to upload more frequently, and the creative side of me just simply won't allow it. I get frustrated at myself. Even going as far as uploading something like this, with minuscule editing, solely relying on commentary and gameplay, it just isn't me. It hurts me. It hurts to upload such effortless content. It's why when I look at YouTubers like Review Tech USA or Mr. Matty Plays, I begin to realize why they have such lackluster content. They rely on YouTube. This is their job. They need to frequently be uploading content, regardless of whether it's worthy of being viewed or not. And in order to do that, they have to minimize their resources. They can't afford to put hours of editing into a video and reach the same amount of views as a basic commentary and gameplay video. And like I said, this is the part where I lash out at myself. I just can't bring myself to do that. When I started YouTube, I set out to have an identity, to be distinguishable, to be the type of content creator that when you click on my videos, you say to yourself, gee, this guy deserves more subscribers. The type of videos that aren't like a bag of chips, where you can constantly pull out a handful and just munch on them. Video creation in of itself is an art. And when it comes to making these videos, that's where I feel I'm at my absolute best. That's where I feel like I gather all of my creativity, all of my talents, and get a chance to display them. But my craft takes time, thought, and effort. The idea of degrading my content for steady growth goes against everything that I set out to do. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm a fucking idiot because of it. I know I'm slowing down my growth because I'm not talking about enough trendy topics. I know I'm lowering my potential by not having double uploads. My practices will not net me any earnings to fully rely on YouTube, but I am perfectly fine with that. I'm happy with my corner of the internet. It's not grand. It's not super small. Sure, we got a lot of perverts and quite possibly a few traps, but it's my corner. It's one that was built by people who appreciate the work I do. They have a certain admiration for a smaller channel like mine that is capable of producing high quality content. It's how I wish to present myself. It's how I wish to be viewed. Not uploading frequently isn't a result of me not putting in any effort or care. In fact, it's the result of me putting in too much care and too much effort. It's the reason why I can't find that balancing point that will allow me to do YouTube full time. And I know this may be upsetting to some of you, but that's why I chose to discuss it today. To those who have donated to my Patreon, I appreciate it very much. Just as much as I appreciate your patience. What matters more to me is exactly that. Your understanding. Knowing that my content takes time. I don't wish to constantly be rushing myself or putting pressure on myself to upload. Getting out one video a week is challenging enough. What I enjoyed the most about the most recent video that I did upload was how there was no constraints. There was no pressure put on my back. There was no rush to get it out the door. I took my time to craft it. Sure, I spent countless hours on the computer, but those were hours I enjoyed. Sometimes there were days where I solely dedicated to cutting up the clips of the peasant. And then there were other days where I solely dedicated to working on that intro. This is how I prefer to do my work. Not with the idea that it's full time, but rather part time. And not even the idea that it's work necessarily, but a spare hobby. As 2017 quickly went by, I began to realize, shit, I'm no longer at a thousand subscribers. I'm nearing 16,000. My Discord no longer only has 200 members. It's getting close to 2,000 members. I have people sending me gifts through my PO box. I have people gifting me games on Steam. I have patrons. There are a lot of strings attached, even at a number as small as 15,000. I have people investing into watching my content. And because of that, I owe all of you an explanation. But don't get me wrong, this channel is fun. I enjoy all the hentai you guys send my way, the many memes that are created, the people I associate with, the games I get to play. It's all worth it. What I'm trying to get across here 
If I ever do go full-time with YouTube, it won't be for a while. And going full-time with YouTube won't change the pace of my content. Like I said, I don't want to be another Review Tech USA, or another Mr. Matty Plays, or another Scarce. Uploading frequently, throwing shit at the wall and seeing which one sticks without getting demonetized. YouTube is their livelihood, and whether that's a good choice for them or not depends on how satisfied they are with it. I, on the other hand, am much more prideful. My ego is through the roof. My shit is good. It's fucking awesome. And I want to keep it that way. But more importantly, I want to keep you guys satisfied. I want there to be enough content, but not too much of it, that it completely loses my touch. Fritanga videos don't come in bulks. They come delivered on a silver platter with a cup of wine and a British butler. They're the type of videos you can go back to and watch over and over again, waiting for the next one to come. But as it stands now, I think I've rambled on for too long. Pretty sure a lot of your dicks went limp in the time that I was talking, and you didn't get to see the popsicle stick, I know. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you with the next video. I promise. Pinky promise. So long as you guys can continue to be the most awesome and patient subscribers ever. It means the world to me that you understand. But for the love of God, if you're a trap, just come out with it. <laughs> Free Congo sucks ass.